boy those clips that you just saw that was just a small hint as to how much I've been going off on this game hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video and we are here on the open beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I was going to record another video yesterday of me playing the Black Ops 6 open beta, but I was busy doing other stuff as well. And on top of that, I was still trying to edit my previous video that I uploaded on my channel yesterday. And by the time that got uploaded, I realized I'm not gonna have time to upload another video or record one within that same day. So I was like, I'll wait till tomorrow. For those who might be curious, I have already achieved max rank for the weekend of the beta. I was able to do so when I was playing the game last night, so. I spent the majority of my time playing face-off as I've just gotten so, so used to playing on small maps that unfortunately it's still continuing as I'm playing Black Ops 6 right now. I do want to talk about some of the stuff that I got to experience from playing Black Ops 6. I do want to talk about the good and the bad, but also elaborate on what I think Treyarch can improve upon to make Black Ops 6 more enjoyable for us to play. First and foremost, I do notice that the maps in this game are like small to medium size. I'm not sure how everybody is feeling about that, but for me personally, I kind of enjoy it to an extent because a lot of the maps that I have played on so far have pretty much been small size. Even though I've tried to like lean away from playing face off, I have tried the other multiplayer maps and I can honestly say some of the maps that I played on were really good. I enjoyed playing on the likes of Derelict and Babylon and as far as the face off playlist goes, I do enjoy playing on Pit and Gala. I do think those maps are pretty good in their own right. The only map that I was not a fan of playing whatsoever was Skyline. I have heard some people give their complaints in regards to how people play on Skyline. And after playing a good amount of that map last night, I can honestly say it was the least favorite map that I played on last night. I was not a fan of that map whatsoever. The main reason why I wasn't a fan of playing on Skyline was because I did notice that there are specific passageways that you could take to try to traverse throughout the map. Like for example, there's like a secret doorway that you could try to activate through some type of power box. Not only that, but you could also roam through an elevator shaft to try to like get to the other side of the map. For me personally, I was not a fan of that whatsoever as I did come across people who were simply camping in there and it just made the experience that much more annoying to endure. I'm not trying to say that Skyline is a bad map by any means. I do think it can be good and I do think it can be more enjoyable to play on if people just stopped camping in those secret areas like the elevator shaft or those air vents you name it like i wish y'all would stop camping in there 
then again, it's Call of Duty. Like, people are gonna camp their asses off no matter what. Like, it is what it is. Derelict is another map that I enjoyed as well. I didn't spend too much time playing it, but from what I got to experience, it was a pretty good map. I had a pretty good time on there. If I had to keep it a thousand, I would say that my favorite map that I got to play on so far is Babylon. Basically, Babylon, it's like another version of Shipment as the spawns can get pretty chaotic like every single time you spawn you end up dying a lot of the time and it can be difficult to try to counteract but at the same time if you play on that map enough to get a good idea as to how others are going to react to you then you'll be able to hold your own for a good amount of time now as far as the game modes go the only game mode that i'm not necessarily a fan of is kill order and it's basically what i'm playing right now for those who do not know what kill order is it's a game mode in which you end up becoming the hvt and you have to do your utmost to survive the enemy players who are coming after you to try to kill you holy crap dude kill order it isn't necessarily a bad game mode i do think it's decent but at the same time i'd rather play something like domination or hardpoint rather than kill order it's just it's, this is a game mode that i can't necessarily find myself to be that enthralled by but i'm not sure if anybody else thinks the same way too you gotta be shitting me man how does that not kill him as I said earlier, Kill Order, it's like my least favorite game mode out of this entire mosh pit of modes that we have available right now. I'd rather play something like Hardpoint or Domination as Kill Order. Like, nobody wants to be the HVT and then have to deal with an, the entire enemy team coming after them at once. Another positive that I do like about Black Ops 6 so far is the Omni movement. I do like the fact that you're able to run in any direction that you would like to, whether you're running sideways or whether you're running backwards. Hell, whether if you're sliding or diving from side to side or you're sliding and diving backwards, I do like the fact that the movement in this game is a little better than what we've had in past Call of Duty titles. This is something that I really am glad to see as Treyarch really found a newer way to innovate the movement to some extent that we've never had in Call of Duty before. However, if I also had to give a negative in regards to the movement in this game, I would honestly compare the movement in Black Ops 6 to that of Modern Warfare 2 2022 as you don't necessarily move around as fast as you would like to. Hell, you might use some type of perk or you might end up tweaking some settings around to try to make the movement a bit more responsive and a bit more faster for your preference. But for me personally, I looked at the movement, I messed around with it, and I came to the conclusion that it was somewhat on par with the movement from Modern Warfare 2 2022. Hell, if we're going to compare Black Ops 6 to Treyarch's last Call of Duty title that was Black Ops Cold War, I would make the argument that you end up moving a bit slower on Black Ops 6 than you did on Cold War, which is surprising to me. But at the same time, I understand that Treyarch, they had to work with Infinity Ward's engine and try to tweak it around in the sense to where they could give it that Black Ops feel that they really wanted to market to the consumer. I have not played on Scud. Holy crap, I forgot this map even existed in this game. I'll check it out. I did find out that a specific head glitch on this map can really make or break your experience in regards to how you pursue the enemy team. Guess we'll have to find out. He could see me, but I couldn't see him. Tell me how that makes sense. That is unbelievable! Now, I do want to get into the negatives in regards to what I've experienced with Black Ops 6 so far. And I would even go as far as to say that this is the biggest negative that I have dealt with from playing this open beta so far. It's the packet burst. I can't even begin to tell you just how annoying it has been to deal with the game stuttering a lot of the time. And it's due to the fact that there was just so much packet burst in almost every match that I play on that it can become very difficult for me to do well when I'm having to fight against this. You probably saw a few examples earlier on in the video, but the packet burst in this game has become so problematic that I honestly don't even know if this is something Treyarch is even going to fix throughout this weekend of the beta. You gotta be kidding me, man. There's two guys sitting on that head glitch over there. Are you stupid? Come on, dude. 
But without a doubt, the pack burst has been the biggest negative that I have had with Black Ops 6 so far. It's become so hard to try to enjoy the game a lot of the time when the game is stuttering so much because the servers are having a hard time keeping up with how many players are playing and what is going on in the match that you're playing in. Another negative that I have about Black Ops 6 so far is the map size. Now, I will admit, as somebody who has gotten so used to playing on small maps and such, especially given how much of an impact Modern Warfare 2019 had on me as far as its multiplayer map design went, I will admit that the majority of the maps that we have available to us in this beta, I don't like the fact that it's pretty much small to medium size. I have noticed that Treyarch, in regards to them developing small to medium size maps that they want wanted to try to come up with better pathways for players to traverse through to make it seem as if the map is large by some extent but at the same time it's like you're still catering to the individuals who have inherited the small map mentality where they're going to want to continue to play on small maps rather than having to use their brains by playing on larger maps and figuring out where are the best ways to flank. And yes, while there are ways that you can flank the enemy team by playing on small to medium sized maps, at the same time, is it really worth rotting your brain knowing that you're going to be running around the same small map, just running into endless amounts of chaos and getting spawn trapped over and over again? Like, is it really worth it? You gotta be kidding me, man. Like, that's all thats all they do on this map so far. All they're doing, they're just sitting on a head glitch, just not even bothering to move. Like, come on, guys. Like, play the game. I do hope that once Black Ops 6 launches, we are able to figure out exactly what other maps are large scale to some extent. So that way it can be easier for us to figure out exactly how to flank the enemy team from which direction because you're not really able to do so when you're playing on small to medium sized maps. Oh yeah, I'm not playing Skyline. You got you 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 got me fucked up. But I do hope that once Black Ops 6 launches, we are able to find out exactly what other maps are like large scale in the sense that what other maps are big enough to where we're able to figure out exactly how to flank the enemy team from which direction. That's pretty much what I was trying to say. I don't know if I would consider this to be a negative or anything like that, but I have noticed that there is some level of skill based matchmaking in Black Ops 6, which... I already gave my two cents on it like skill based matchmaking with how it's running nowadays it's just not going anywhere it is what it is we could either deal with it or we could play something else in which the skill based matchmaking isn't so strong like how it is in call of duty but in my experience so far i haven't really dealt with that much strong skill based matchmaking as far as i'm concerned so i guess the experience has been pleasant to say the least but to be honest with you i couldn't really think of that many negatives that i have with black ops 6 so far maybe i just wasn't focused on trying to weigh out the pros and cons because i've just been focusing on enjoying this game as much as i could but again i, I really i've been having a pretty good time playing black ops 6 so far like this game is pretty good for what you're able to do so far yes it's not perfect by any means i do think there are some ways i do think that there are some things that treyarch needs to improve upon to make this game a little more enjoyable i would like to see treyarch tweak around with the movement in the sense to where it doesn't feel as weighty or as heavy as it did back in like modern warfare 2 i really would like to see treyarch make some improvements into making the omni movement a bit more lighter for us to be able to move around as fluid and as freely as possible but on top of that it would also be nice to see it become a bit more responsive kind of like how we have it in modern warfare 3 honestly i think the biggest thing that i would like to see treyarch improve upon is the performance of these servers because it can be very very annoying to have to deal with persistent pack bursts when you're just trying to enjoy the game as much as you can and the fact that there are times to where the game will stutter a lot it can be difficult for us to be able to enjoy this game half the time but the pack of burst is something that I hope Treyarch looks into in alleviating as they further put the finishing touches on this game. That, ladies and gentlemen, was my thoughts on the Black Ops 6 open beta. I do think that this game, it is pretty good. Although, there are some things that Treyarch does need to improve upon in order to make this game a whole lot more enjoyable for players to indulge in. But so far, from what I got to experience... 
I think it's pretty good. I do think it's pretty good from what I got to see. I do like the Omni movement. I do like some of the maps that I got to experience. And as far as the things that I don't like, the Packet Burst is the biggest negative that I have with Black Ops 6 so far. I seriously think Treyarch needs to look into this and improve the server performance so that way this game can be a lot more enjoyable to play without having to worry about the game stuttering to some extent. And I also don't like the fact that some of the maps in this game are small to medium size. Even though I've gotten so used to playing on small maps, at the same time it would be nice to be able to play on medium to large size as well. That way it could be easier for us the players to figure out ways in which we could flank the enemy team to get the kills. You guys saw early on in the video I ended up achieving max rank for the entire weekend of this beta so... I pretty much have no other reason to continue playing this. I mean, if the level cap was to increase, then sure, I would continue to play the beta, but seeing as how I was able to reach max rank for this weekend, I pretty much have no other reason to continue playing this game. But I will still continue to make videos on it to try to update y'all on what's happening with Black Ops 6 so far. But I want to know from you guys, have you been playing the Black Ops 6 open beta so far? And if so, what are your thoughts on the game? Do you like it? Do you not like it? But also, what are some things that you think Treyarch should improve upon to make this game better for you to enjoy? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys have to say. But with that being said... I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you're more than welcome to drop a like on it. And if you enjoyed this type of content, you're more than welcome to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. If you happen to be watching this on my Rumble channel, you're more than welcome to do the same as clicking that follow button and that bell would be very much appreciated. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Discreet. And I'll catch you in the next video.